we're gonna need to work together this summer um, to provide our kids with the best summer ever. It's gonna be so much joy, so much happiness, so much friendship and learning happening at camp. So, but to get there, we actually have to agree to follow these basic rules and uh, listen to those camp directors who are doing their best to take care of your children, make sure they're safe and healthy and happy. We know how to do this, and we've tried to spend our year helping camp directors understand and at a very granular level how to operate camps in COVID-19 from what we've learned. And we've also tried to illustrate for them where things went wrong last year, where camps did have outbreaks and what was not happening that caused that outbreak. So there has been a lot of research from others around that as well. To this strap to add some weight to it. So probably up here actually, Cole. So how are you, uh, you feeling good about all this? Oh yeah. Will you, uh... They have the same bunk rooms, um, that's where they can take their mask off at night or when they're sitting down at um, meals at their table, they can take their mask off to eat and that's really the only time that you're going to see their, these guys with mask off is in their cohorts. Um, and then second to that is also keeping our staff separated so the people who are working with different groups are not going from okay I'm working in the kitchen or now I'm going to activities and working or I'm going to this um, group over at family camp or backpacking. Um, Backpacking staff will stay with backpacking staff. Uh, conference staff will stay with conference staff. Fly lines, um, you have uh, mountain scooters. Um, the waterfront's huge, um, especially for most kids in New Mexico, they're not used to water <laughs> and so having a waterfront is a big deal. More than anything else, it's a sign that things are getting back to, to normal and um, that we can start to look forward to things again and Look forward to, um, to to gathering and some some uh, some socialization that maybe we've been cut off from um, with all of the the restrictions and the changes to schools and and all of that.